Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Achara Kirk. Hello. We're looking at Biswa Kalyan Roth Banana and Pomegranate. They're both fruit. Yes. Just so you know. Oh, wow. <laughs> you think so little of my intelligence. I got a funny feeling. Okay, so uh, this is from Biswa Kalyan Roth's YouTube channel. Thank you, Biswa, for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciate it. Y'all, make sure to head over to his channel and hit that subscribe button on his channel and also give an upvote to his original video, uh, Biswa Kalyan Roth, Banana and Pomegranate. And he's at 630,000 subscribers. Help him get to 700,000. And after you do that, come back here and hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, please. Helps us out quite a bit. And we have subtitles. Bye, I'm Rat Singh. Thank you so much for doing that for us. All right, here we go. This video contains adult language. <laughs> I'll be bachelor's, bachelor's of football people. The uh, only desire, in, the only purpose in life we have uh, is to uh, minimize the amount of work we can do and still survive. If rice is here, dal is here, then it's going to be a lot it reflects on our food habits. If you come to my house and you leave gold, silver, diamond, dust lakh ka check, nobody's gonna to touch it for years. Try leaving six bananas. Within six seconds, bachelors will appear around it. ایکچولیبر <laughs> بنانا <laughs> 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 Right? Gods give to bachelors. If you leave chicken outside the fridge for a night, it goes bad. Leave banana outside for a night. It gets ready. You came to eat the pila from yourself. Bro, I thought you would eat what you would eat. I am going to convert myself. Bro, you are coming to me. I am going to eat the pila from yourself. spectrum the most difficult to eat fruit that bachelors really fucking hate is pomegranate not just bachelors, bachelors hate pomegranate if a bachelor is dying of hunger and you give him a pomegranate and a knife he'll take the knife kill himself mere ko nahi chahiye ye fruit tum apne paas rakho usse 25 test match khel do wo fatta nahi hai agar uska naam a se charu nahi hota it would have no place in literature ye to bachcho ko rakha de a se anar tabhi jaake pehchan aata nahi to koi uska naam bhul lo but you bother naming it khali kabhi kabhi mixed fruit juice mein dikh jata hai no mainstream brand makes pomegranate juice it's always hipster brand like paper boat nostalgia pomegranate like wohi log karte hain ye sab chuki apa your they know it's nostalgic because your last memory of eating pomegranate has to be with your parents or grandparents it's a fruit designed for old people it takes up a whole afternoon aaj kya kar rahe aaj pomegranate kha rahe hain hey नारियल खाने के लिए इंडस्ट्रियल इक्विपमेंट चाहिए पोमोग्रेन खाने के लिए एक दादी जी जरूरत दादी जी किचन में बैठ के उसको एक एक दाना निकाल के व्हाइट प्लेट में सजा के आ ताकि एफर्ट दिखे व्हाइट प्लेट हमें कोई प्यार नहीं करता अभी सब लोग बोले बुढ़ी कमर ही व्हाइट प्लेट में आई एम यूज टू हैव वेरी यूज टू हैव वेरी यूज टू हैव दादी ड्रिंक से बच्चा दो एक अनाज तो बीमार बहुत मेडिसिन ड्रॉप की खाओ बच्चा बोलता है अरे काफी दिन से बबल रैप नहीं तोड़ा है। और उसी में चले? I don't know। ये खापो मगरनेट। ये है पानी। The simple joys of life। The thing you have to notice। 
is reproduction. In pomegranate and banana. Banana has no seeds. Banana tree is everywhere. Pomegranate is filled with seeds. Nobody knows what its tree looks like. Because pomegranate is a psycho. Deep inside is a seed, 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 seed. But of sex, 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 sex. Hiding it under the bitter covering, it's not defense mechanism. It's on Tinder, but not for hookups. That sort of that ended was, randomly. That got pretty deep, considering it was like about fruit at first, and then suddenly it became this metaphor for dating and how like as a pomegranate you're not on tinder for the hookups like you've got this hard bitter shell but on the inside you're just really soft and you just want to be loved the pomegranate you know but no one wants you because you're such a difficult fruit but saying that though growing up i had a pomegranate tree i, I never ate pomegranate i don't think i've ever ever had pomegranate. I've had pomegranate juice. It's super trendy here, guys, because it's like full of antioxidants and it became like this very trendy, expensive drink. I get confused between pomegranate and cranberry all the time, though. The, They're the, both red yeah. juice. But the, that, um, what's that company? Is it P P with the heart in the Palm, middle? That's Palm, that's pomegranate, yeah. Yeah, I've had that. Yeah. I'm like, what's the big deal? I don't know what the oh big- Oh my, cause, okay, so let me just explain this to you. God. The pomegranate, it's like this round fruit, right? And then you open it up inside and it's literally just a multitude of individual sacks of seeds. Why but would you want that? Look, that's his point, exactly. I'm asking you, why would you want that? Well, I mean, after you go through the work of trying to open it or whatever. Like it's <laughs> well, it's the point the joke he was making was perfect then. It is perfect. He, cause he's, cause he's, he's like, what are you doing today? Eating pomegranate. It's that's it. I'll it, see you tomorrow. It is literally that. Like, it's like kind of tasty. Yeah. It has a lot of juice in it, but like, it's also got this crunchy seed. So there is a satisfaction to eating it, but it's definitely not the easiest fruit. To eat. I'm surprised he didn't bring up apples. Apples are fairly simple. You pull it off a tree, you know, rinse it off once and it's good to go. I mean, he did make the point that bananas are good to go like immediately, like it's got its own protective layer. Yeah, it's basically but, nature's fast food. Yeah, nevertheless, apples, one step removed from that. Like you just rinse it off once and you're good to go. You know, I mean, I suppose you could soap it if you really felt so inclined. But I guess pomegranates and bananas are more readily available in India. Like just oh, look really? around. You could just find okay. a banana tree. Although I think he's wrong because there are actually seeds in bananas. They are- They're just so tiny, you just like eat them. They're like little, little seeds, yeah. You just eat them. But they're there, so you're wrong, Biswa. <sighs> but they're not cumbersome to deal with. No, not at all. Yeah, I, th I mean, I think when he says seeds, he's, he's referring specifically to cumbersome seeds. Yeah. Just as you might experience with watermelon. And I, the, verdict, the jury's still out on whether or not you're supposed to eat watermelon seeds. Like I've heard that it's good for you, and yeah. then I heard that it's terrible for you. And I got scared as a kid thinking that watermelons would grow in my stomach oh, if yeah, I ate the yeah. seeds. I heard that story so, and I got scared You're too. not supposed to eat apple seeds though, for sure. Isn't that like cyanide or something? something Apparently, bad for you? isn't that what happened in Mother? She used the apple seeds to make a poison to like poison the dude. Did I just miss that scene? In what? The movie With Jennifer Mom? Lawrence? Sorry. Oh, I was Mom. like, what are you talking about? Yeah, Mother, Mom. It's a different Aronofsky movie that I did not watch. <laughs> I don't remember, I think maybe, perhaps. Yeah, I seem to remember like I walked in on you and you were watching this scene. With oh yeah, that's right. The apple seeds yeah. or something, yeah. There we go. I didn't even watch the movie and I remember. There's actually a uh, American folk hero. I don't know if he was real or not. His name Johnny Appleseed. I think he was fictional, but it's like, it's kind of strange to name a character after something that can kill you. Yeah. Well, maybe they didn't know. Or maybe he, that was his superpower, that he could kill you. He made apple trees as far as I remember. Oh, okay. But like, it was something stupid. It was cool as a kid. I like his uh, little take on things, like how we're so lazy as people that even something as simple as, oh, like, it's cold. Maybe I should get up and turn off the fan or the AC yeah. or whatever. And you're just like, that's ah, okay. I'll just lay here and tomorrow if, I'll, um, if I'm sick, I'll just, I'll take the medicine, like whatever, you know, it's true. <laughs> no, I, I agree with that actually. I agree with that a lot. I deal with that a lot. I was dealing with that the other day where I was trying to go to sleep and I was hearing noise outside the apartment. And I was like, okay, I should get up and get my earplugs or I could just try to fall asleep. <laughs> 
And it was cold too, because the air was blasting. And I'm like, I could shut that off or I could just try to go to sleep. <laughs> and for five hours, I just tried to go to sleep and it didn't work. It wasn't until the sun came out that I was like, I should get my earplugs <laughs> and shut off the air conditioning. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're inherently lazy people. Just, just, I mean, I think the human species were predisposed towards laziness because that's how you survive is by not doing stuff. Yeah, the only thing that sucks about bananas is I can't eat it as my first meal or, or I'll get a stomach ache. He's absolutely right. Like. He's like, you can leave $10,000 around, no one will touch it, but leave six bananas out and all the bachelors will eat it right away. Yeah. Yeah, because it's it, easy. Well, it feels like when you see fruit, I think it's one of those things where it feels like it's for everybody. Like a fruit basket, you know, like uh -huh. a bowl of fruit. Like, oh, I'm, I'm surely this is meant for me. That's just how your brain works, I think, for some reason. Almost like. There must be some sort of primitive part of your brain that says, yes, don't mind the manners of whether or not you're supposed to, because it used to be that you just pull it from a tree. It's yours. There was no transaction involved. There was no asking permission from the tree. You just did it. So when you see fruit, you just eat it. There you go. That Explained. <laughs> Vox. That thing about pulling fruit from trees, it just made me think of something that I saw on this uh, Instagram account that I follow. Something Asians. Anyway, it was saying how for oh, Asian... Oh, overheard Asians in LA? No, no. Okay. It's not that. Asian Avenue? No, it wasn't Asian Avenue. It's something else. Okay. Like funny Asians. No, it's not that even. Okay. But um, <laughs> the Asian point... Asian Central? No. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, Daddy. The point is, they were saying like, who can relate to this with Asian parents? That fruit always tastes better when you pull it off someone else's tree. <laughs> when you're just going for your evening walk and you're like, oh, look, there's a mango. Let me just take, it. isn't it like the most delicious thing you've ever tasted? I, not for me, but I do experience the phenomenon of if I get Coke or some sort of soda. I don't even drink Coke. I don't know why I mentioned that as an example, but if I get some sort of soda from a restaurant, it always tastes way better than if I bought it at the store and brought it home. Mm. I don't know why. It's every time. There must be something in the transaction that makes you appreciate it more because you're paying more money for it. Like you pay $3 for Coke at the movie theater, but you pay $3 for a 12 pack at the store. All 12 sodas don't taste anywhere near as good as that one soda from the restaurant, from Sizzlers. Like there's something about that soda from McDonald's that's just amazing. And the one you get at home sucks. Must be something about the way that it's refrigerated or something. And they, they put like an exorbitant amount of ice in it and yeah. something about it, the I glass. Don't I don't know. Yeah. So I think with the fruit. It's, I think it's just the atmosphere more than anything, but what? I think with the fruit, it's just cause it's free. <laughs> Tastes better than than paying for it. Maybe. No, I don't know. All right. Well, anyway, uh, that was fun. Thanks you, uh, thanks you. Thanks to you, all of you, uh, Bizwas. <laughs> Bizwa, Kalyan Roth, thank you so much for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciate it. Very much appreciate your humor, especially the uh, reviews that you do, that you don't do anymore. Any, I, I like those reviews. So, that was awkward. Why did I say that? Just put my foot right in my mouth. So, uh, thanks so much for hanging out. Make sure to subscribe to Bizwa's channel. Also, give his original video an upvote if you haven't done that already. And then come right back here, subscribe, bell icon, all notifications. 